Hey girls and guys, it is Sida from Sida Let's Play and Sida Let's Chat, and we are back with another episode of Minecraft Comes Alive. Yes. And last episode, we talked about some plans to move things around. We I asked you guys what I should name my village. Um, and a lot of you guys came up with a lot of creative names. And but a lot of you guys included the word trick in there, which of course were just my favorite because who doesn't want to live in a village known to be full of tricks? Alright, so most of you guys said trick town, some of you guys said trickleville, some of you said like I forgot, but it was a lot of tricks. Just anything with a trick in it, you could like yeah, someone mentioned it. So I was thinking trick town's not bad. But then I, I kind of like Trickleville as well, or like Trickville, just because I think it goes better. So between those two, or if you had to choose a village name with the word trick in it, which one would you choose? Or like Trickasoids, someone said Trickarita, but then like I feel bad because like that'll only include the women in the world and not the men because it's like, like Trickarito. Um, and then I thought, Oh, I put the thingies in the wrong place. Dang it. Let me fix that because it's going to bug me. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and walk around and show you guys what I've done. Because I've done a lot. But you know what? To be honest with you guys, uh, it's a lot more work than I thought. Because I was on here a long time, like, working on stuff and moving things around. And I was like, yeah, I didn't know it was going to take this long. So it's gonna probably going to need another episode. So the next episode you guys see, um, I'll have everything done. Plus, as you guys know, it was Ricky and I's birthday yesterday. Um, so I didn't like really have time to work on things because it's been quite a busy week and stuff. But I'll talk about that in another like Let's Play or something. And, you know, you'll see a vloggages of it. And uh, yeah, you'll see. <laughs> um... But anyways, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about that in a bit. If I sound a little weird, it's because I have this like weird pain in my chest. Don't worry, I'm not going to die. And like, ugh, I just, yeah. Today I went to the zoo. It was very exhausting. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I was supposed to show you guys what I've done. I am so out of it this episode. I'm so sorry. But it's because it's late. It's about to be midnight. And I'm recording now. Horrible, isn't it? So, here is what I have done. I've done a lot, actually. So, um, one of the things I was going to move was the little marriage place. But I decided not to. I decided instead to push it back. Remember how this used to be, like, further up here? And we used to have some space. I thought I should move it closer to my house. And I have a um, little lake. I decided to make the little lake bigger because I could kind of use this to get the people to fish in, and that's where I was going to ask you guys as well. Should I kind of keep this like this? Or I had another idea. I could kind of build something over here. Because it matches up to the path. There's a little lake here. Um, But I think they could fish on like one deep water. But I'm not positive. I think they can. So I was planning to kind of make this look a little bit nicer. So I can go ahead and have that as their fishing spot. I took down the houses here because this is where we're going to build the fire station and the police station. And some of you guys were saying how it might be a good idea to kind of build them in the same like building kind of thing. Which I don't think it's a bad idea to completely attach them. And then I had to build this wall. And remember I was going to build the lake back here. I decided not to. This is definitely where the animals are going to go. Because, you know, animals, they poop. And they smell really bad. Because I learned that at the zoo today. When you walk by some animals, they smell really funk. Like, really funk. So, we're going to put them back here. And they're going to have lots of land to roam free and about and do their business. Um, and then, now, it's the moment of truth. A lot of you guys supported my decision. And I'm very happy that you did. Because I was really unsure about how you guys felt about it. But, I think it's time for me to kind of take the crown back. Um, I actually did already, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, get some of the guards. I'm going to set them up around the village, and then we're going to bring everyone back. Um, so they kind of get to stay in their own homes now, rather than having to, like, be, um, stuck in that little hole. So, I'm going to make all the guards my, my knights, and then they're going to follow me around. And I'm going to try to place them everywhere, so that they have 
um, so they're spread out well enough. I think because Brent's always in my house anyway, I'm going to have him stay there. I want to have one definitely in the apartment buildings just because, um, that's where my daughter lives and like everyone else. Um, so I'm going to have one here definitely. And I think I'll keep Colby. So let's hire you for an hour and we're going to set your sentry point. Um, is it combat? Yes. So we're going to set your sentry point and we'll set it to about 15. Set sentry point and there we go. So you, mister, you stay there. All right? And you take care of my people and then I won't kill you. Um, and then I would definitely want to fuel my house. I don't, some of you were saying to put them in every single one of the rooms. I think that's a little going a bit too overboard. So I think just having like Jason and then having Brent, I think that'll be good enough. I don't think we need any more. Because I think that'll be me going overboard and being too paranoid. And sometimes you need to let your children spread their wings. <sighs> Alright, come here. Um, oh, Jason, you're making this so difficult, aren't you? Jason, just stay still. Ho oh, ho, Jason was like, many thanks. I'll do whatever to you task you want. <laughs> sometimes my mind goes weird places. Uh, special combat. And then we'll do the same thing for all of them. All right, Jason, 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 come. You're going to get fired. When you get fired, that means you get killed. Come back. Jason, why can't you, you be like Kobe? See, Kobe, he did his job right. He's staying at his spot. You, on the other hand, I'm not even sure what you're doing. Why are you still following? Oh, I didn't get him to stop following me. All right, maybe that's what's causing the issues. Let me stop follow. I'm available anytime, my queen. No, you're not. Because I hired you to protect my family, and you're not even doing it. We should just get Nick. Nick Nick knows everything. He's a genius. Uh, right, Nick? Right? Plus, like he's been gone. Oh, Nick. Don't start disrespecting me now. Uh, There we go. Oh, I should have done it for longer. All right, there we go. Stop follow. Okay. Nick? Do your job. I'm going to go grab my family and you're going to protect them from everything that's bad and evil in the world. Um, where are they? There's so many of them. I'm just going to let them like roam freely and let them come here on their own. And hopefully that works out well and hopefully nobody dies. If I create have an episode and no one dies, that to me is a success. Because we have we've had a lot of people in our village. Like imagine creating a list of every single person that's ever been in the village and has died. That list will be so long. Like, ten of those people will be my children that have died. That means I'm not, I'm not a very good parent. I shouldn't go around bragging about stuff like that, should I? I've tried to keep them alive, but they're just not very smart sometimes and they, like, get themselves in dangerous situations. Like, saying they want to go hunting when they're young and they are not even prepared for the real world. All right. Um, follow me. We're all just gonna go on a big little parade. Oh, I wonder if little Ricky's still sad about Miranda. I'm not really that sad about Miranda, but you know, I am not allowed to say that because you guys will kill me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Miranda was a good person. Not really, but I did. I did have compassion there. It's not like I was just a cold-blooded old woman. I wasn't. I I felt bad when I found out she was dead. I did. Mostly just because I felt bad for little Ricky. Other than that, I probably wouldn't have bothered. I shed a tear or two, I promise. Alright, let's go over here. <gasps> Alright, we're all good. Is everyone here? I think they are. They're all with me. Stay with me. Stay with me, you guys. I like being queen again, though, to be honest. I like having control. Does that mean I'm a control freak? Probably. But... Come on now, this village would not be where it is without me. I've got it very far. Remember when, like, we came here and basically destroyed all the houses and killed everyone? Uh oh. Okay, let's jump over, all of us. Oh, you're not gonna be able to make it. Oh, that's it, magic. Alright, I'm gonna set all your. I can't set all your homes, actually, so just stop following me. Now you guys are back in the village. You guys can roam around. Do whatever you want. Are you guys happy to be back? Go go see all your friends. All that stuff. Stop following me, Ellie. Oh, and Kiana. Hi, Kiana. She's doing very well. Good, I'm glad. Alright. 
so now we can go back to working on the rest of the village um so i did have some ideas for the police blah, 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 the police station and the fire station and i'm gonna make it oh, the thing is i i wanted to make it out of wood because everything else in the village is wood and then i feel like if i have it made out of wool it just look weird so i might kind of use the materials that i used in the apartment building and uh and then probably the red brick. That way it kind of, you know, still just flows together. Because we have to make things look nice around there. We can't make it look like poop. So we're going to definitely do that. Uh, that means we're going to have to gather a lot of wool. And that's not going to be fun. Because all our sheep escaped and we killed them all. Which is not a good thing. But we'll we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. Um, but yeah, I was either... I do... I do want to keep this little pond area that we have like it is now. My only thing is I don't... I don't kind of... I don't like... I wouldn't want little Timmy to come over here to fish. I kind of want him to go over here. And I thought this would be a good spot. And then what I could do is just... Kind of fill in all of this area here. And kind of make it go further out. And then make a little... Like make the lake a little bit smaller. Not just in this little area and then have it go out to the rest of the huge lake what the reason i had made the pond bigger in the first place was because i had this ingenious idea and then i realized it really wasn't um i was gonna kind of make this just randomly separate itself from the pond and then flow all the way over here into this big lake but as you can imagine that didn't look very nice. Look at that. That looks like poop. Like it really does. Look at that. It looks horrible. So I decided to just kind of close this off and keep it as it was. And then um, we'll just go ahead and make the one over here. I think that's the best idea. If I do kind of want to make something smaller. Because um, this would be too big. And I don't want it to be near the prison. And then also I could have... Like a little path to the other village. Because remember we wanted to make paths to each village. I think we could definitely do that. And um, I'm going to try to work on it as much as possible. But that just takes so much prep work and off camera stuff. Just because, like I said, you guys don't want to watch me place blocks. Because that's not very entertaining, is it? Um, so let me go ahead and eat some bread. Because I am hungry and I'm not able to sprint very fast. Um... Our animal farm is doing a lot better now that we have the little piggies. I think they're... Where's their baby? Oh, what happens to their little baby pig? What? Don't you... Oh, there it is! Oh, look at it! Oh, look! Why did you come out like that? Oh. You know what? I'm not even going to ask any questions. You do your own thing. Let's breed some more cows. So that way we have a lot of steak for everyone. <gasps> oh, dang it. I messed up. Because I didn't set their homes. Now they're all going to go back to the little cave. And the door is open and the mobs are going to come in. Oh, shoot. I need to go over there now. Well, that is great, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. If a zombie gets over there, they're all going to die. I'm going <sighs> to... It's not even worth me going to sleep because if I go to sleep, with that time it takes for me to go to sleep, I could get to that other place, close the door, because it's an iron door, and then I could run back to my house and sleep. So we're just going to double check. Actually, there's a bed in there. I could just go to sleep in there. All right, so let's go do that. Please don't die. They're my children. My husband. My manly man is there. I don't want to... What would I do without him? I've already killed him once and on accident. Oh, the memories the horror it will always forever live on uh oh was it close let me make sure no mobs are in there perfect they're all sleeping look at them look at their cute little faces all right we're good so i'm gonna go ahead to sleep and then we need to set their homes so for the next episode i'm gonna try my best to at least have most of the police and fire station done i think i get it done and then let me know what you guys think about the little fishing area should i have it be the little pond or should i build something outside of the that was very rude that was very rude skeleton leave me alone or should i build it outside the walls and then let me know what you think we should name the village this is an important question this is gonna be like 
a final name. Like once we name it, there's no going back. That's it. Um, so just add a trick in there somehow, and uh, the name will be perfect. Because anytime you add a trick to something, it just makes it so much better. Why is Nick sleeping? He's a guard. He's supposed to be awake at night. Nick is not doing his job. Alrighty, guys. But I think I'm going to end it here. So I hope you guys had fun watching it. Wash, washing? Washing? Yes. I don't think I swore washing anything. Um, I hope you guys had fun watching. Please like, favorite, comment, and share. And I hope to see you in the next episode of Minecraft Comes Alive. Bye.